Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, Neil Patrick Harris. For all the great things you have done, Dr. Horrible was one of the coolest, and it was pioneering, man. Talk to me about being here, seeing the cast, and kind of seeing everyone again. It's gotta be so cool. It's super exciting. I mean, it was such a strange, little, interesting, intimate project that happened through circumstance. And to have something like that that only took a few days to make on very limited budget with a lot of passion, to see that it has legs and that it lives, uh, lives beyond it, especially in Comic-Con land, yep. very exciting. When you look at, obviously we have Netflix, we have Amazon, all the streaming services taken over. This was one of the first real pioneering projects that we got to see the web kind of bring to us. Yeah. Did you guys know at that time, hey, we're kind of ahead of our time with this thing? Well, I think Joss Whedon's ahead of his time in most everything that he does, so it's fun to ride his coattails a bit because he seems to know, he seems to have the, the pulse on things that are two steps ahead of him and the world. So, uh, yeah, I loved it. I mean, I, I, I mean, it's, you can't say that we knew while we were doing it that it was going to be a thing, right? You do it and you are proud of it, but you have no idea if it's going to flop or if it's going to succeed. And uh, I was just super excited to be involved. I loved listening to the original recordings. I love listening and lip syncing my own recordings. I still listen to it. It's a good piece of work. Speaking of succeeding, I love Best Time Ever, man. Nice, how thank much, you. How much fun are you having with that show? I know that blast. it's a passion project for you, right? Well, yeah, I'm lucky right now I get to do projects that I'm passionate <laughs> about. So I guess uh, most things I'm doing are because I'm choosing to as opposed to because I need to uh, pay the bills. <laughs> but yeah, it's super fun. We're, uh, every week's different. This week is Jack Black and the B-52s, some special surprises. I'm kicking my ass again physically on this one. I don't know why I keep saying yes to him. Yeah, I do because I love doing it. Is but that a huge challenge for you, the physical part of it? Because I know obviously Hedwig was an enormous physical I don't know that it's a challenge because I love doing that stuff. I'm, I've done circus arts for a while, so I do trampolining and trapezing and tightrope walking and juggling and magic and all that stuff anyway. But to try and figure out a way to find something that I haven't done and put that into the show in some kind of clever, watchable way, that's the challenge.